Hello Cancer and welcome to Coleman Tarot. My name is H.E. Coleman and this is going to be your reading for the month of January. I have to think about it. What month is it? Okay. Here we go. I hope you had a wonderful December or where you're probably still in December since I'm going to release this um, in December. I hope you're all having a wonderful season and not getting sick. I am still sick. It's been about three weeks, so I might cough during the video. So be prepared for that. Oh, there's a lot that's popping out today. A lot. Uh -huh. Okay. Whoa. Not realizing. Okay, I'm going to put these in order of how they came out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. There we go. Nope. Oh. There we go. This one here. There we go. Ah, nice. Okay. Nice. All right. So this is your pathway. This is what you're going to meet along the way. This is your outcome. And these are the things that are hidden from you. Okay. So the first thing that we have here is a disappointment. It's a small one. It's in the middle of your reading, so it's it's enough to catch your attention, but it's small enough that she doesn't bother um, to dry her tears. She just picks up her sword and keeps moving. You can see her, her makeup's running there, but she's not taking the time out. She's not having a pity party. She's not having, um, she's not bitter. She's not angry. She's just sad, and then she picks up her sword and she keeps going right away. All of these crows are here to give you advice and normally in a card sometimes there'll be one or one crow or two crows or something. There's a lot of crows here which means there's a lot of people that are going to tell you to pick up your sword and keep going. There's going to be a lot of support for you and there's going to be a lot of um, just people giving you advice and saying it's okay just keep going just don't even don't even sweat over this. So whatever this is that the disappointment at the beginning of the month um, just roll over it and just keep going because it's also going to be um, the retrograde, which is for the first week of January, people aren't going to be getting a lot done anyway because it's going to be, um, when the retrograde happens, it's just like there's a lot of mix-ups, there's a lot of like problems, and it, it's just hard to get things finished. So whatever the disappointment is, that's just to be expected. I think we're all going to be going through that. Okay, these are the other things that are going to be along your way. This is the lover's card. So this is you having a really... Um, a really good connection with somebody it's going to be about you having <coughs> romance or a very strong connection to um, someone that you that you care about a very strong connection it's it's going to be romance for a lot of you those the lovers <coughs> sorry about the coffee okay this is the other thing that you're going to see along the way and this is you doing a really good job on something and someone notices they're in a cloak, which means that they could be hidden from you. You might not even um, you might not even know that they're watching you. You might not even know that they've noticed that you're doing a good job, but they are noticing. Uh, I like the cloak thing because a lot of times people will see that you're doing something amazing, but they won't tell you. They'll just tell your boss, or they will tell um, some other person to buy your product, or they will um, secretly just think, okay, in the future. In the future, I'm going to give this person a job, or I'm going to give this person an assignment because they're really um, they're really good at what they're doing, and it's something skilled, something like that you do that's really um, puts a lot of effort in. It's not just something random that you're just doing. Um, it's something that you're making or doing that is really special, and someone is going to notice that. Okay, in the middle of your month, you have the Queen of Pentacles which I think some other months are getting as well. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is good with their money, somebody who it could be that you're going to be getting money and feeling like the queen. 
you're going to be getting money or you're going to be good with your money and you're going to be more responsible with your money, <coughs> which is good after after December. A lot of people are spending a lot of money. But this is somebody who is in charge of their money. They're doing a good job. Somebody could be, some of you could be getting, um, because someone's noticing that you're doing a good job, you could be getting a promotion where you are becoming the boss. But this is somebody who is, um, it's it's you because it's in your it's in your pathway. So it's going to be about you. It's going to be about you being better with your money or getting money and feeling like the queen. <coughs> These are the things that are going to help or hinder you. This is fast progress. Now, the way that it helps you is that someone's going to notice that you're doing a good job and then you're going to suddenly like shoot forward in your career. Or it's above the relationship as well that you're suddenly going to, the relationship is going to um, move forward at a fast progress. It's fast progress for either the relationship or the career. But here's the thing. It's in the help or hindrance. So the way that this is a hindrance is it's going to either help you or hinder you. The way that it could hinder you is that the chariot card has two horses that are going very, very fast. And if they, if you can get them to go in the right direction, you have fast progress. If you don't, then it tears everything apart. It tears the chariot apart. And then you're just left sitting there with no horses. So with the career, what this is going to mean is if someone notices you and they give you a promotion or you become the boss or they give you a bonus, you need to take, you need to take your horses and put them in the right direction. You need to focus and you need to make sure that you're focused on one thing at a time. Put all your focus on one thing and aim towards Aim your chariot towards that one thing that you want to accomplish. If it's about the relationship, since it's right above the relationship with the lovers, what this means is if you're both on the same page, you're going to shoot forward in your relationship. If you're both thinking different things or going in different directions, it's going to, it might tear you apart or at least cause arguments. I don't see the heartache card here yet. It might be hidden, but... Um, it's just saying if you want the relationship to move forward, make sure you're on the same page and you want the same things. Okay, the other one that is helping or hindering is this one, which is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very warm and loving and mothering. It could be your mother. It could be in the relationship. It could be um, the, the other, your partner's mother or someone who is in the partner's life that is very warm and loving and nurturing and looks out for them as a help. It could be that this person is loving you and supporting you and, and even helping you with the career since it's above the career. It could be somebody in your work that's loving and helping you with that or with the relationship. But as a hindrance, it could be somebody that is um, sticking their nose in when they're not belonging because they really care about the partner and they are kind of like getting involved, getting too involved. That's how it could be a hindrance. It's probably going to be a help with these two queens here. It's probably going to be a help, somebody who is loving and supportive that is helping you with your career or your relationship. Okay. It's, it's cool because we have like the relationship on this side and like the career on this side, but they can, interming, they can intermingle where like this, the fast progress could be about the career and this could be about the relationship. They're all, um, for some of you, it's going to be one and for some of you, it's going to be the other. So I have to do a general reading for everybody. Now, this is going to be your... <coughs> your obstacle strength as an obstacle as a regular card it's great it means that you feel very strong and you're going to be able to handle any tough situations as an obstacle what this means is you might feel like when something happens when the disappointment happens you might feel like um, really disappointed really like obviously but really like um, like you can't pick up your sword and keep going and then these other people are going to support you and they're going to tell you, yeah, you can do it, you can do it. And that could be what this is about, where she's saying, look, you can do this. Just pick up after the disappointment and keep going. So if you're not feeling strong enough, other people are going to be there for you that are going to help you because this person is a warm and loving person. And you have the lover's card where someone is going to be like supporting you and loving you. So, and obviously if you're getting this card, where things are going better financially, it seems like, and someone's noticing you and thinking you're doing a good job, it seems like you are surrounded by support. You're surrounded by people who want to help you and want to make you have fast progress. So don't, um, if you feel like you don't have enough strength, 
Um, try leaning on other people. Try leaning on somebody else. In this picture, she's leaning on him. Um, and he's leaning on the tree. So try leaning on someone else. And they, you might be surprised how much they help you and how much strength they can give you if you don't have enough of your own. Your outcome. The world. This is a wonderful outcome. This is a wonderful outcome. It's pretty much the best outcome you can get because it means that you feel like you have the world. <coughs> now, for some people, feeling like they have the world is like a financial thing. For some people, it's an emotional thing. For some people, it's a relationship thing. But having the world card means that whatever it is that you want and that you care about, you're going to feel like you have the world at your fingertips, like the world is your oyster, whatever the expression is. You, you're going to feel really like like the, the expression on this girl's face. You're going to feel like really wonderful, wonderful. And having this and this is going to be a really great month for you because here you're doing great with your finances and here you have the world. So the only thing you need to worry about is just this initial disappointment, which we're all going to have at the beginning of January anyway. So you've got lovers and someone warm and loving supporting you. This could be a hindrance for some people. It's somebody butting their nose in, but they're doing it out of love anyway. And then you also have somebody who is thinking that you're doing a great job. And then you also have the fast progress as long as you can get your horses in a row. Now, the things that are hidden from you are a lot of choices. You're going to have a lot of choices. <coughs> so you might try one and it doesn't work out. <coughs> Sorry, I'm so sick. <coughs> you might try one and it doesn't work out and then you have all the other choices around. Okay? The other thing is you're going to pick one of those choices because you're going to be the fool, which is somebody who is really enthusiastic and happy that they're starting out on something. So when you have all these choices, you're going to pick one and you're going to start out on something new. It could be a new relationship with lovers. It could be a new project with the work thing. If it is a project, you're going to do well on it. If it's um, just a new job or something like that, you're going to be really enthusiastic and really happy about it. The other thing that is hidden from you is this, which is having enough money, but you don't think that you do. You have enough. You're going to have enough with this one. You're going to have enough, but you just feel like you don't. So you're really holding your money tight and you're um, worrying about money. When you worry about money and when you hold everything to yourself, you kind of interrupt the flow of the universe bringing you more money. So when you have, if you're worried about money, try to just um, focus on the fact that you're going to have enough and you're going to be fine. And then, then you can get the flow going again. And if you worry too much, you're going to interrupt the flow like this guy, where he's got some down here, but he's like, I need more, I need more, I need more. And then he interrupts the flow and ends up hitting him. So when it comes to money, if you think you're not going to have enough, always um, try to look at it from a positive point of view. Always try to think, okay, everything's going to be fine. It's going to work out. And then you, you kind of like start the wheels rolling towards the money coming towards you. If you sit there thinking, oh, I don't have enough, I don't have enough, I'm so worried. Then all of a sudden you're going to get bills and then you're going to have, like, you're going to run out of stuff in the house. Okay. Talk about interrupting the flow. My dog just barked really loud, so I had to stop the video because I don't want to scare you. I'm going to have to edit that out. Okay, so basically the three things that were hidden from you are, what was the first one here? The choices, starting something new, so you are going to pick something, and then worrying about your money, which you shouldn't, because if you do that, you're just going to end up having a whole bunch more bills and stuff like that because you're you're so worried that you're bringing about the thing that you're afraid of. So just try to think to yourself, I am the queen of pentacles or the king if you're a guy. I am the king or queen of pentacles. I'm going to be fine. And then it'll start flowing to you and then you will have enough. Okay? So I'm going to give you a couple of other cards. I am going to, I don't need to, have, to, to clarify your outcome because we already know the world it's just you feeling wonderful and happy. So your fate card is going to be, yeah, there it is. Your fate card is going to be, you will receive news from afar. Excellent. You will receive news from afar. Wonderful. That's probably what's going to make you so happy that you're on top of the world. Okay, and I'm going to give you your spiritual card for the month, which is, let's plop right in, plopped at the bottom. Retreat into nature. That's great. And you didn't get the hermit card. So I I guess 
you should take your lover and retreat into nature. There you go. Or just go and have a good time by yourself. Take a friend with you. Just go into nature and just appreciate all the wonderful things. And that's as well if you're worried about money. If you're worried about anything, go into nature and just enjoy being. Enjoy all the beauty that's there. And then you'll take your mind off of whatever you're worried about and then the money can flow easier. Okay? And the lover can flow to you easier. All right? So, the other card I'm going to give you, because I'm going to start give you a card from a new deck every month, and just so you can see all the different decks, I'm going to get you guys a new deck every month. And this month I have gotten the um, Archangel Power cards. So, mm -hmm. let's see what you're going to get. So, what are you going to get? It's hard to shuffle these, they're kind of big. For the month of January. Here we go. Uh, Ace of Gabriel. Oh, it says here, that's a beautiful card. It says, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. So here's your passion. Here's your opportunity. Okay. And inspiration, a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So there you go. You're going to get a chance to do something new and exciting and amazing. And that also might have to do with the nature as well. You're going to get a chance to do something wonderful and amazing. Great. Yay. Okay, I think that's it. I think you have all the cards that you need. So, remember, this is your outcome, feeling like you have the world. And this is in the middle of your month, feeling like you're doing okay with your finances. Okay? So that is your reading. It sounds wonderful for you for January. And have a great month.